G'day! Today on the table I've got a TomTom Tom GPS which on this one I'll be replacing the battery in it. Yeah, if we have a quick look at the model number here we have a TomTom Tom 1XL so this will be getting torn open I won't be using a Phillips screwdriver for this particular one even though that's what was in my hand I'll be using one of these torque screws, which I believe this one here is a T8. So to get into this one, it's quite straightforward. Essentially undo all four of the screws in each corner. They're all in obvious positioning. So they don't, don't need to worry about hidden screws on this particular model. And then once you've undone all those screws, to begin with you'd probably want a fin pry tool, maybe a small metal spatula, something to that effect. From there, we should be able to open it up. So I'll use a fin pry tool. Now do note this does open relatively easier, for me at least, just because I have had this open once before. There we go. So when you do open it, be careful. There's one speaker connected and the battery itself. So you can continue to use your thin plastic pry tool to open it, or to get that battery out of it. Pretty much you should be safe to use metal as long as you're not piercing the battery, but if it's your first time ever doing something like this, it's not recommended to use metal. And here I've got my aftermarket battery replacement. Excuse that motorbike that you probably just heard on the microphone there. So, and the footage is upside down, sorry to say. It's a 1200 milliamp hour battery to replace the 1100 milliamp battery that's already in there. So, excellent. This should be perfectly compatible. Connectors on the battery are identical, so there's no real dramas there either. Now while I'm bat battling to actually plug this in, I will zoom in on the footage to give you an idea of the the way the plug actually goes. So I will manually zoom the camera in in just a second. Now with the connector itself, there should be a little bump on it that should be facing down towards the main board. So if I spin it around and you see the pin connectors or the three of them there, you should just be able to slide it in and clip it in with your nail. And then from there, we just got to route or stick and route the stick the battery down and route the cable just out of the way just so it's not going to get squished. The original battery did come with a cut with some adhesive but that one is fairly stuck to the original battery so I won't be bothering, bothering to battle it I'm just going to replace it. So I'm going to stick down some new double-sided tape and then from there I'll proceed to reassemble this GPS. So I'm going to leave you from here and I'm going to let the video play out and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.